Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I'm going to be doing a Volnhub um, Lazy Sys Admin walkthrough on um, obviously Volnhub. This um, is so Lazy Sys Admin is a Volnhub box that I'm going to be doing some pen testing with. I'm going to try and hack into this box. And yeah, it's just a CTF challenge. Um, obviously of lazy sys admin so i'm obviously getting started and i'm gonna just do net discover so i can identify what type of um <clears throat> like to scan the oh what sorry i'm basically scanning the network to identify what type of oh no what ip address it is so i can um, actually start doing enumeration and reconnaissance <clears throat> So I'm basically scanning the network for the VMware. As you can see, this this one's mine. Um, and it's just scanning through ARP and request packets. Okay, as you can see, this is the VMware here. 192.168.244.129. And this is the MAC address, and this is it says that this is the VMware. <clears throat> and also this is the lint. Okay, so as you can see, this is the box here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the scan, just gonna copy that, it's gonna clear my terminal. Um, the thing I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna create a directory <clears throat> for doing this um, well and hub activity, uh, this penetration testing. So I'm gonna do, um, just create a directory called Voln the hub, and I'm just gonna CD into that directory. And this is where I'm going to be doing my stuff. Um, I'm also going to do make do make another directory called lazy um, system Ad administrator. So I'll just see into that as well. So lazy um, sysadmin. Okay, so now I'm in this directory. So I'm going to do an mmap scan of sysadmin. I'm actually going to use sudo. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do tech a for aggressive scanning. Oh, as you can see, it's already done here for me. Um, well, actually, let me just clear this. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm using a aggressive scan, um, which is basically gaining much information about this target, and as well as I'm doing SS, which is basically a TCP scan, or known as a SYN scan, a stealth scan, um, and I'm basically just outputting the scan information into this um, te uh, text file here called MMAP info uh, about this target. So we're going to just, um, yeah, so that also means, you know, aggressive scanning, so it means everything. Okay, so I'm actually just going to press enter, and I'm just going to wait until this is finished, getting information about this target. <clears throat> As you can see, it's going already, it's getting information about the target. This might take a while. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, Okay, cool. So I'm just going to clear. I'm just going to do cat mmap info. And as you can see here, uh, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. So we scroll up here. Let's see any open ports. Okay, so port 80 is open on this. It's a Ubuntu. It's an Apache server. Uh, oh, that's good. That's interesting. It also uses the SSH service. I can use open SSH, SSH into the box. Um, we might need to crack the password. I'm not sure if that would... Uh, be needed right now yeah so as you can see lazy system administrator and it's running on Linux kernel okay so now <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the browser and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the targets address and actually just paste in that and colon 80 <clears throat> so <clears throat> welcome to <laughs> I don't care okay okay uh, my mind on is my SQL Okay, so we've got some memes here. Uh, how does it work? The answer is within you. Oh, it seems like these buttons don't even work. Alright. <clears throat> so it's just text. It's not... <laughs> it's not even href links, and these sections are not very well done coded. Um, <laughs> your money I want. Okay, buddy. That's kind of funny. Discover our community, blah. I can finally check out website development for my to-do list. Touch my... Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. I'm not going to say that. Um, <coughs> okay, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna see the source code. Oh, sorry, what? Control UD. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we <clears throat> just read the code here. Okay, so it uses some CSS as well. Got some JavaScript. Okay, let's just view. Okay, that's just all CSS code. I don't care about that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, not much information there. Interesting. That's also interesting. Uh, not much information, really. Okay, wait, this is interesting. That is interesting. No, 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 hang on. <clears throat> See, it leads to a image here. This. Okay, that's... Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, check that out a bit. <clears throat> so let me figure out what's actually going on here. Is there any other information? Was that it? Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so there's not much information here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a directory scan because since we just got that information, because it said that there was um, an image location. Um, well, where is it actually? Uh, you saw it. So it led to another directory uh, of a JPEG image. Now that is interesting. Now when, when I see that, I normally do a directory scan to see what's on the host uh, device, the machine. Okay, so yes, yeah, so, so as you can see, I'm gonna do a directory scan to actually get more information about this device. Uh, I'm just gonna just make this a little bit big, bigger so you guys can see. I'm just gonna just move my terminal just to the right here. I'm actually just, can I put it like that? It's a bit bugged. <clears throat> And over here, I'm actually just going to get a uh, direct, I'm going to do a directory scan. So um, sudo, I'm actually just going to go in system administrator because it's really annoying. System admin is, I mean, not using root is just a lot better. And for some reason it's now frozen. Actually, let me bring that down so I can, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, this is logged out. I don't know why. Just gonna double check. Okay, I'm recording. Okay, I got issues there with my terminal. I'm just gonna redo it. Pseudo su. Okay, there we go. So now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a dir scan. Uh, HTTP slash slash and the address. And I'm gonna do basically um, just this is a whole directory scan here um, so as you can see this is a directory scan that I'm gonna do I'm um, using uh, Durbuster to actually list out the directories on this target address and dash R for no recursive um, so I'm just gonna press enter and see what we get Okay, that's interesting. So we got some stuff here already. So I'm just gonna just gonna move this out of the way a little bit, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, as you can see, we got information here. So we scan the URL for directories. Uh, okay, so now that, yeah. Oh, okay, so we've got info.php. We'll check that out a bit. And we got JavaScript. We got some old directory. We've got PHP my admin. Oh, okay, we got WordPress. Okay, that, that's interesting. We got WordPress. Okay, that's, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> we got WordPress. Okay, I'm actually just going to check that out since we got WordPress here. Okay. Um, hello world, please don't make me set up WordPress again. Okay, I don't know what happened here. I guess this is like a demo or like a template. Yeah, okay, so this is a template of it. We got some comments here. Let's check that out. Can I, let's see, okay, well, I don't know. Okay, this is WordPress, it's a, no, okay, never mind. I don't know if there will be XSS attacks. I mean, using WordPress, I don't think there will. Um, no, so so they won't, they won't, okay. Um, this is interesting. Now, if I go back to here, and I just get that out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Just let me minimize that, sorry. So if I just go over here, and obviously shrink this terminal as well. If I go here, and as you can see, if I go up here, uh, so it says port 80 is open. Also, here's your sage host key as well. RSA's host keys, 
Well, okay, that's interesting. Uh, HTTP header. So as you can see, it uses Samba. Wow, okay. And oh, MySQL as well, open there. Also 445 port, um, admin local. Yeah, okay, that's just the server. So it uses like SMB client. Okay, that, that is interesting. Um, Yeah, so as you can see, it uses, <clears throat> um, so it's actually like a Linux server as well. Um, it uses Samba, which is interesting, also MySQL. Um, so but basically Samba is like a networking protocol. It's similar to FTP, um, but we can use Samba client to actually access it. Um, oh no, that's, uh, so Samba client is actually, uh, no, sorry. SMB client is similar to um, FTP, which is basically file transfer protocol. And this is actually like a integrated with a Microsoft Windows server domain. Um, as like a, it's either like a domain controller or as like a domain member of that, the host itself. So what I might do here is actually access the SMB client. As you can see here, though, we got some directory information here. Um, it's basically okay. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we got my PHP, my admin. We got like JavaScript directory. We've also got test, which I'm going to check out. Um, that is also interesting. Okay, as you can see, we got also, okay, so we've got PHP in my oven. I'm actually going to check out this test directory because I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, parent directory. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, wait, go back. Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do here is actually um, use SMB client. So SMB client, tag L to list all the services of the host address. So I'm listing all the services that are being used um, or what's on the host address. Um, so I'm just gonna figure that out. Uh, don't have a password for it. I'll just press enter anyway. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we got, okay, we got print. Oh yeah, so we've got a sharing um, directory here. We can actually share um, service. This is like a share service. Um, which is good. So what I might do here is actually do uh, SMB uh, client, and then obviously the address again. Um, <clears throat> sorry, let me just take that out. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, I'm just gonna supply the host name again, slash share, and then uh, what dollar, well actually, just copy that. Let me just bring that back, there we go. And then, oh, it's a bit laggy. Okay, and then press enter. Obviously it needs work. Is it frozen? Oh, okay, we in, we in, we in. Cool, we have um, SMB. We actually connected to the client. Okay, so we got, what do we got here? So we got WordPress. Okay, no, that is what we need, WordPress. So let me just clear it again. Press enter. LS, okay, so we've got WordPress. We've got Mac node files, we've got WordPress deets. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, that's good. We've got robots.txt. So basically what robot uh, robots.txt is, it's basically it's on index pages and it's it's basically like so robots.txt is basically a file that tells the search engine um crawlers that they can access your site basically and this is also used to avoid overloading um the site itself with requests so that's what robot.txt uh, is. So that's good. And also we've got deets. I have no clue what that is. We've got Apache index standard. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, type in git deets.txt. Um, so I think that should save to my, yeah, it did, okay. As you can see here, <clears throat> it's saved to my home directory. Um, so git, so we've got deets, we got robots txt get wordpress uh, <clears throat> okay i want to get the info.php i want to get the 
uh, get test. Oh no, not test. Uh, to do list text. There you go. So now we got it in our directories. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize that and check it out here. Let's do ls. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do cat. We'll just see what it is. Beats.txt. Oh, was it? What was it? Deets? Oh, sorry. Deets. Okay. Um, remember to remove the file and push out the server password. Okay, so we got. We just cracked the password. So the password's here already. Um, so we can use that. <clears throat> so we got the password, which is good. Um, so now we can go f do some further exploitation. Okay, so since we got that now, we got the password. We can continue with our investigation. Um, okay, but there was also another one. So can info dot php. Ah, oh, okay, just like PHP information. And then uh, cat what was it to do list text. Okay, so it says prevent users from being able to view uh, to web root using local file browser. Man, this is a, this is a lazy system administrator. You never want to do that. We have a password one two three four five because it's easy to do perform dictionary attacks and then obviously you get the password. Um, it's a it's like a decent proficient method used these days, but brute forcing is not in some areas uh, areas. But um, you can still do it. Wouldn't recommend, but it would take quite a while, especially if someone's running a honeypot. Okay. Um, oh, you know that's that's another thing that I want to look out for. Is what if um, <clears throat> then another thing that I want to look out for is actually um, honeypot because th there's a WordPress on here. Um, or no SSH. Sorry, there's a there's a SSH. I mean, if I connect to it, it could be dangerous. Um, <clears throat> so we've got robots text. Uh, we've got some other stuff here as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is actually can I clear it? No, I can't. Okay. Um, oh no, is it? No, what? Oh, sorry. Okay, so we got WordPress. Oh, actually, let's cat WordPress. Sorry. What? Uh, do we have it? No, we don't. What? I thought we did. Okay then. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's a directory. Sorry. <clears throat> so WordPress is actually a directory. So I didn't know that for a second. Okay, so let's see what's in the WordPress directory. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, buddy. Okay, so we've got <laughs> WP Admin. <laughs> we got some the WordPress settings and PHP settings. Oh, wow. Look at that. We've got uh, weblogin.php, which is good. So that's what we do. I'm going to do git. I'm just going to copy that done okay we got that um is that all i need for now no well yeah i got that as well oh configuration that is what i need okay now if i go here again and i just move this out of the way and i do cat uh, wordpress dot oh no sorry um wp config dot php oh wow okay it's a whole script um, so what I might do here is actually go into sudo mode because it's, it's kind of annoying. Um, so sudo nano uh, was it uh, wp um, configuration file php. We're gonna hack into this box. So we just got identified some areas already, and as you can see, look at that. So we got the database name, which is WordPress. We got the database user, database database password database base host which is just localhost and database um, characters that's set to utf8 so actually okay so we got the admin and we got the password for it so that means that we can go back to the directory here because it's wordpress and we can actually go into a login section which is obviously somewhere something okay it's not there. So where's the directory scanner that I had open earlier? Um, where's that? I don't know. Could be this one. Okay. Anyway, so we got the files here already, and 
this is good because now we can actually just log straight into the WordPress. So I'm, and then I'm just going to go to the WordPress and just do WordPress and then do uh, WordPress login dot PHP. <clears throat> and we type in admin and then the password, which is that toggy, whatever, MySQL. That's a string. Okay, so just copy that and log in. Bam. Okay, we enter the WordPress now. We just hacked straight into the box. Now we're going to do a reverse shell because we're going to do a PHP reverse shell so we can gain access directly towards the server itself. Um, so we're going to do so plugins, users. Uh, I think it's plugins, maybe? Yeah, so we're going to do plugin, add new. We're going to add a new plugin. And we're going to upload our own plugin here. Okay, yeah, so this is where we're going to do our reverse shell. Now, I can do this mainly. Um, yeah, let me do it mainly. Let's see what we got. So sudo, oh wait, hang on, let me make it a little bit bigger. Sudo so I'm going to use Weebly this, for this, Weebly. And um, actually, I'm going to put it on my desktop. CD desktop. I'm just going to do uh, Weebly. So it's Weebly generate. Uh, let's give it a name. Um, actually, no, sorry. Let's give it a name. Oh, let's give it a password first. I'll do password123. And now I'm going to do um, pull it reverse.php. Let's put that on my desktop. As you can see, it's there. And it's root, so I can only access it. So let's actually now upload that file. Actually, we need to run that program. We actually need to run that script. Um, so I'm going to do Weebly. Now we can use Weebly to access the URL and the password to execute commands. So I actually, I think a better way of doing this. Oh, actually, I don't, oh man. Um, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, okay. So let's actually give that a try first. Uh, yep, rev. So now that is uploaded, now I'm going to run the target. Um, I'm going to actually run this. So uh, Weebly. And then the URL name of the password. So it'll be something like that. And then the password at the end of it. Password123. Just going to wait for a connection. Oh, wow. Wait, what? I didn't even upload it yet. Uh, <clears throat> okay, no, no, it's not. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was. Okay, so we're going to install it. So it's installing. It's installing it. It's installing it. It's going to wait for it. I'm just going to take away this URL. I'm just going to add a new one once it's updated. Okay, so as it's doing that, I'm going to go to the WP content area because it does have that. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go here. It did have a, a web content. Oh, no, maybe. Um, actually, I'm going to scan for what directories this has so I can understand um, <clears throat> where everything is. Sudo su. So I'm going to do derb. And then the host address, HTTP slash slash. Uh, what, what was the host address again? Uh, yikes, I forgot. <laughs> What's down here? Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, and no cursor. I want to find out what's actually on here. <clears throat> again, because I didn't see it. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, okay, sorry. I'm an idiot. Yes, the WordPress section. I want to see what's on there. Okay, nothing there. Okay, yeah, see, we've got WP content, so I'm just going to open up that section. Um, is there nothing here? What? Okay, well then, scan the WP content then. <laughs> Web content. <clears throat> I'm going to see what's on here. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, we've got plugins. Uh, that's what I wanted. Uploads. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, the latest. Yep, there it is. And we can actually access this. Uh, where's my shell? Where's my shell? There it is. Got my shell ready. Just close that. 
Okay, so let's give this a try. And obviously this is it here. Copy that. Yeet. Yeet that script. And we are in. We are in. We just gain access to the server, which is brilliant. I could have just done a curl post request, but using pen test monkey, but it's fine. We actually just gained access, so it's clear as day. So let's see what we got. Okay, wow, okay. This is interesting. Okay, um, so now we actually need to spawn the actual shell for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, <clears throat> no, I'm actually just gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can actually see for myself. So let's do, okay, let's, let's say, let's figure out what Python version. Okay, so, oh no, so no, where the Python is actually uh, remains, where the directory of Python is, so it's actually in the user bin library, um, I mean directory. Um, so we need to actually spawn the actual shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do python tech c and then import it um, from pyty and then with pyty and do to spawn the shell itself in the bin bash section so bin slash bash uh did that work uh I'm not sure did it work no that's that's my directory for it nope that did not work <coughs> for some reason <clears throat> oh no it's because i'm in a uh, directory sorry so as you can see now i'm here <clears throat> oh there we go so i've got all the information here i mean i didn't actually need to do that i just realized it's right here <laughs> the whole time okay no it's fine don't worry at least i got access to it and now uh let's figure out where the file is actually located itself um okay so now this would be I'm going to do cat slash etc slash pass um, et slash password oh there we go look at that look at all this information that is amazing so we've got the mysql information as well okay so this is what we need down here this is what we need because that was the user of it okay this is actually getting good <laughs> so now we can actually access it um, from SSH because this is it right here so now if we actually um, so since we have this right we got toggy um, whatever it is so now we can just actually go back the directory so it's we know it's toggy so we know the user's toggy now so I'm actually gonna leave the shell open well actually no, I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna hash sh into the box. Um, so hash sh. Um, actually, I'm gonna clear this. So hash sh. Um, to you know, toggy with the supplier hostname. I need to go out so I can actually see. There we go. Uh, sure. I don't. Yes. No. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, fine. Yes. Jeez. Okay, now where's the toggy file? So we now we actually know the password to it. So, so now since we have that, we can actually gain a shell. We can get a shell as root. That's what we want to do. Uh, give me the other terminal. Where's my other terminal? Okay, so as you can see, we've got this. Okay, so now we can actually upload a shell here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. Do sudo bash and I'm do cd slash root get into the root directory into the root directory and let's see what's in there so cat proof dot sorry proof dot text oh well done you have learned a few things along the way regards enjoy random string so thank you guys for watching this video as you can see that was the end of it um we got some random strings here <clears throat> but that is it for this video we have successfully uh, I've successfully hacked into this box this Volnhub machine to the box uh, anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next Volnhub penetration testing video pen testing video um, okay see ya